texting, IM, chat, all of these modes of communication have uh, some interesting acronyms that are associated with them. Many of us here now you know, at our company will use Jabber and in instant messaging and we will send things like BRB, be right back, or NP, no problem. And those are things that we are all very accustomed to sending and receiving. With anything in life, teenagers will always come up with just a new way to do things. And texting actually is uh, not new, believe it or not. It's been around since 1992. And over that time, texting has uh, changed and grown and uh, been used by millions of people now. Um, the first text was sent in 1992 by a 22-year-old engineer, and the first text was Merry Christmas, because it was sent on Christmas Day. So, pretty interesting little tidbit. But in the last 17 years, we have seen a lot of changes with our texting and jabbering and IMing and, and whatnot. Um, and you know, parents struggle to understand what it is that their children are sending to their friends. There's so many different acronyms that it's, there's literally millions of them if you surf and you know, Google it. Just say, you know, texting acronyms, millions. <laughs> there's databases out there. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a couple that are pretty popular with the teens right now and see if you know what they might be. If, for instance, your teenager gets an invite, hey, let's go to Kings Island next weekend. But they say, T-I-S-N-F, I have to babysit. This is so not fair. <laughs> A lot easier to type that than to type out the entire message. Some other interesting ones that I have seen Besides the, you know, R-O-T-L-F, M-V-O, falling on the floor laughing my butt off, <laughs> are the IDKW2S. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh my God, OMG, <laughs> T-I-S-N-F. <laughs> There's an entire language that the teenagers have created. Uh, some of them will be when you receive a message. You might just say, U-T-M. Up to much? Well, if they aren't, they're going to say, nothing much, you. <laughs> and it is. I mean, they, not one word, true word needs to be spoken. It is just letters and numbers. If you saw... Let's write that a little better. Come across your phone from your teenager. Do you know what they're saying to you? Yeah. That's, That's so not true. <laughs> you can even hear it when you see it come across the text. It's not true, Mom. And there's many others. My screen just turned off. <laughs> that um, I, I've seen come across even from my own children. Um, you know, I need you to take out the trash. As soon as I can. <laughs> it's amazing the uh, acronyms and the uh, letters and combinations uh, that the kids can come up with. Um, if the, your parents, you know, are out when we are out golfing, I get Are you done yet? <laughs> <laughs> but
but of course I said no. <laughs> I was on the 19th hole. But in the end, no matter what happens, you're never going to be able to keep up with these teenagers. They are always going to be one step ahead of us, no matter how many databases are out there on the internet for us to, you know, Google in order to find out what our children are saying to us. So to that, I say, better luck next time. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Wow, I didn't have any of those.